Alright, so in case you had trouble with the last tutorial on how to record jump scare videos, this will show you how to do that. So you have the setup from the last tutorial, one scene, which has the virtual cam filter uh, with the OBS camera started, and you have two sources, your webcam and your jump scare. So the next thing we'll do is add another scene. We'll call this a scene, uh, I don't know, what I record, how about that? All right, so we'll need to add to the scene a source, and the first source we'll add will be the first scene. So click existing, and what that means is everything that I'm showing the other person on Omegle is now going to be recorded. This scene will be what we'll actually be recording. So this will be my webcam with the jump scare and everything. And uh, next we'll need to add the browser. So I'll do window capture, uh, create new window capture. I'll, I'll call this uh, from Omegle. And we'll just click that right there. Uh, we can resize this. Uh, if you hold down the Alt button, we can crop it. So we'll just crop the other user's uh, webcam like this. And now we can, uh, uh, when we record, we'll be recording this whole scene here. So you could set up nicely however you want. You can put like uh, overlays and skins and put these in, you know, special boxes and whatever you want. Like you could make this so uh, whatever you record here will be ready to go straight to YouTube and you won't have to do any kind of editing to put these uh, boxes inside some special looking stuff. Anyhow, we have our webcam with our jump scare and then the user's webcam there. Um, yeah, so when we record, we'll want to just hit start recording on this and it will record this active scene. Now the problem is, how do we do a jump scare from here? Well, you could make a hotkey uh, on this jump scare, or if you wanted to continually manually clicking this visibility button, but you still wanted to record this scene here, what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to studio mode. So just click the studio mode button. And as you can see right now, this is our output. So this is what gets recorded. So we can switch scenes as much as we want. You see the preview on the left changes, but that does not get recorded. So I can switch over to the first scene and toggle the visibility, make the jump scare play, and this will get recorded. This is probably the simplest solution what you want to do. All right, that does it for this little simple tutorial setup. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.